itself. And it's not talking about, yeah, this, it's, not, it's not talking about anybody else but us. We're the children of Israel. Go to Leviticus the 19th chapter so you know. This neighbor is not talking about everybody. But see, they've been, they done pulled on us to tell us we got to love them and everybody else, and we don't love ourselves. Wait, they, wait, 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 wait. That's what? the key right there, sir. Yeah. Key way. Allah, Allah, Allah. Yes, sir. Love yourself, but then you can love your you can love yourself, you can love others. I don't right. care if you owe anybody. Don't just right. say, man, uh-uh. No, I'm gone. I gotta go do me. Yeah. You know, don't keep it right. Look. You keep it running. I go get my own. I, I ain't right. gonna listen to nobody no more. No. Okay, well, got the this is the word, this is the most high, man. Yes, sir. Yes, That's him. That's, That's, him. Him. That's it. Listen to him. Hey, hey, That's all we can do. Listen to him. Now that, I'm, I'm killing game now. That's why yeah. I, I, I had to get that off my heart. Uh, I feel you. I feel you. Love. So you're right. You say love, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. You gotta love him, man. Yes, sir. Eat him Look at that's right, man. Anybody. That's right. You can't even love the most high, you don't love yourself. You see them looking at we were doing a brother last night. He was talking about committing suicide. We had to work on him. He was ready to commit suicide. You know, we had to really work on him, man. Get him to see how important he is, just like all of you are important. All of us are important. We the chosen people of the most high. This is what it said in Leviticus 19. And the most high spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. We the twelve tribes of Israel. And say unto them, Ye shall be holy, which means pure and righteous and true. For I the most high, your power am holy. That's what he said. Verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Who is he talking to? The twelve tribes of Israel. He's talking about we as brethren. Can't hate your brother in your heart. In your mind, your heart is your mind. In your mind, walk around hating each other. That's a polluted mind to walk around hating your brother. A lot of you hating your brother, you ain't even did nothing to you. You look at him, you hate him. That's wrong, man. You feel with demons. And you need an exorcist. You need to come out of that. This is what he say. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart, which is your mind. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the most high, he said. That's not for me, that's from the most high. So we gotta love each other just like you care about yourself. Yeah, but you know what a lot of people are missing? Mm -hmm. They mad because they, they have to fight for it. It's hard for them to understand it. They, they got to they don't want to pick it up and read it. Look, you can read from Genesis to Deuteronomy. That's the laws of the Most High. There are the laws in there. It ain't hard. You can read that yourself. It's, this is not something that's really complicated. It's not complicated. That's right. You got to study. I'm tired. I still have to get up and say, oh, wait, God, I need some help. Well, these prophecies are coming to be, man. I mean, you got you to gotta look at what are you going to do, man, when he come for you? It's coming, man. He's coming, and he's coming with vengeance. You know, he coming come with vengeance. You think you think they're gonna give up this world that's theirs without a fight? It's gonna be a fight, man. Look, I looked in the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. It says Edom. That's the biblical name for the white or the so-called Caucasian race. It says Edom figures prominently in the prophetic scriptures as a scene of great. Future judgments. And they give you scriptures to back it up. Isaiah 34, 5 and 6, and Isaiah 63, 1 and down. To show you that the judgment that's coming on this earth is going to be on them because why would it be on them? They're the superpower of the earth that's ruling everybody. They're the police of the earth right now. Ain't they? Who else, who else going to be? Because people be saying that the so called white man is not Edom. Show me who's going to take him down. What nation? Chinese? Japanese? Hey, huh? Yeah, guess it, man. Huh? Chinese? Japanese? Which ones? Africans? Thanks, bro. Africans? East Indians? Arabs? Come on now. They throwing rocks at tanks. You see them when they went over there and fought, got Saddam Hussein, one man. What they did to them? Who is it that dropped bombs on people? Bombs. 
When people drop bombs on people, known to drop bombs, it's them. Chinese drop bombs? Japanese drop bombs on what? On, on <laughs> Pearl Harbor? <laughs> See what they did to them? They dropped that atom bomb on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Right? <laughs> they dropped the atom bomb on their butt. <laughs> now tell me, if they ain't the superpower of the earth right now. See, that's what's wrong. People don't really look at it. They look at the Bible and look at some kind of mystery or something. You know, y'all hypnotize. Y'all gotta come out of that hypnotism, man. Don't let them hypnotize you. Go in my shot, y'all shot walk the earth. Mm. That was what? Who was ruling? The so-called white man. The so-called Italian Caucasians was ruling. You see? They the ones that put him on the tree. Put the stakes in his, in his hands and his feet. Here they are right now, doing the same thing to us. Y'all gotta understand, man, this, this is a diabolical plan against us. Whether you want to accept it or not. Look at Revelation 12 and 12. See, Revelation is a mystery. Every time you say Revelation, oh, <laughs> y'all get, people get to being like, oh boy, get to get out of here. These preachers, they're not dealing with Revelations. And the, and the prophecies of Daniel. I tell you, all the nations that's going to rule in this world. And future prophecy. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. It says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. You know that? The devil has come down upon us having great wrath. Why? Because he knoweth that he have but a short time. See? He know that he have a short time. So y'all say, y'all think the devil gonna come out of the ground with his red suit that didn't paint it with horns on his head? Is that what y'all think? No. Tell me if this would happen. If you've been in this situation. Talk to me now. Tell me, tell me if, if you can relate. Because I can show can relate. Because I see it. That's why I'm asking where my brother's at. That I've seen down here. And now they're, they're gone. Not here. And was here all the time. What's up with that? What's going on? What's really going on? Listen. They say the devil, right? The devil will come down upon you because he don't have much wrath. He don't come down with much wrath because he don't have a short time. Excuse me. Right? Let's see who the devil is. Give you an idea. Y'all tell me. Say fear, this is Revelations 2 and 10. Say fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Hey. They say the devil Gonna cast some of you into prison. <laughs> you know what that means? Hey. Point. Hey. Point one to point two. There it is. So. Point one to point two. There it is. So. It said the devil gonna cast some of us into prison. Who's in the prisons? Negro, Indian, Latino descent, Hispanic descent, all of us filling up these prisons. That's what he did and doing. Pulling out the corruption. Yeah. Shit. Right. Right. Same thing in there, right? Same thing. You go in there, you think you're away from some madness, so you're going right to the madness again. Now go to Revelation 12 and 27. No, 17. And the dragon, who is the devil? We got to look at it because. Check. Look. And the dragon, okay, what is the dragon? They go to Revelation 12 and 3. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. So the dragon is what color? Red, got that? Having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. Now verse 9. And the great dragon, that's red, was cast out, that old serpent, going all the way back to Genesis, the third chapter, that old serpent, that fooled Eve, and the thing is she gonna get power 
and she fooled Adam, and him thinking he gonna be get power like to be like the Most High of the Mashiach that was shot. That's that old serpent. So the old serpent is the dragon. So the old serpent have to be what color? Red, just like the dragon. Called the devil. So the devil have to be what color? Red, because the dragon is red. And Satan. So Satan have to be what color? Red, you with me? Which deceived the whole world. See, the whole world been deceived. That's why Job 13 and 4 says, For ye are forties of lies. You're all physicians of no value. Because a physician supposed to help cure you. But that's not happening. That is not happening. You're just being pacified for whatever condition you're in. These doctors not really curing you. The Most High said, I wound and I heal. My doctor had the nerve to tell me that. I said, you ain't healed me. It ain't kept me alive. I say the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Come on. He's the one that gets the glory. Not no doctor, not no man. You don't give no man the glory. Now when the most high said, I wound and I heal, I kill and I make alive. Better give him the glory for everything. He's worthy to be praised for everything. He loved to be praised. The angels are before him 24-7 praising him. We're trembling. Uh. Brothers talking about they going dealing with the most high. Ain't nobody dealing with the most high without a mediator that's going to him with trembling. Are you serious? He said, heaven is my throne, earth is my footstool. He put his heel on a footstool. You understand what that time we put a heel on a footstool? He said, that's how the earth is to him. He said, where are you going to put me at? In the earth. Can't put him in no earth. He everything and everywhere. Come on, come on. All over. Everything. And worthy to be praised, man. And he ain't been praised, man. He called a little boy. He called a little girl. He called woman nature. Mother nature. You think he said That's why he's gonna destroy this place, man. He made a man and a woman. To do what? Have children. Not no two men together. Two women together. That's an abomination according to the Bible, as it is written. 